answers now and look at those last Who's three really in your answers. answers. Maybe you don't have them in the book. Um, but make sure that those last three make sense. Okay? Yes? So in the parentheses, you're adding the plus one plus the zero. You're not doing the multiplication. Am right. I thinking you're too far saying, into it? This is a plus one, this is a zero, so this has to be a plus one. Okay. But it really isn't an equation. It's just to show how those three relate to it's it. Okay. It's just pressure if one is of those related two, to. This symbol means if one related of those two, to. Then pressure's got to do something. Okay. Else. But if you want to make it easy on yourself, you're going to think of it that way. Okay. So in number one, somebody read what number one says. Go ahead. <coughs> Exploration, one fill in the micro table and that's to show that if the volume and total number of particles remain constant and if the temperature increases, the pressure will also increase. Okay. Mm -hmm. What page are we at? She okay. just read on 79. Okay. On 79. So, um, what did you say now? Read the thing again. It says, if the volume and total number of particles remain constant and the temperature increases, the pressure will also increase. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at that. This page is very important. This exact page is on the exam. Right? The exact page. All right. So we've got temperature, we've got mass, we've got volume, we've got average heat E. We've got number of particles, right? We've got collision per second per area. We've got boom. I did have And we've got something else. Pressure, right? Okay. What are you gonna do when it says show that if the volume and total number of particles remain constant? What are you going to do right away? That's second. Okay. Would what's true word constant? Volume and number of particles. And number of particles? You've got two. Correct. And the temperature increases. Then the pressure will also increase. Okay. Now, right away, you know these two are going to have to one of equal them. a plus. Okay. At least one of them, right? At least one of them. At least one of them. When the temperature increases, which three are directly related to the temperature increasing that are going to be exactly the kinetic same? Energy. Kinetic energy. energy. And oomph. And oomph. Automatically, automatically, if this is up, they're going to go faster. They're going to have more speed. And they're going to have more speed. The only way these particles so far, what we know, are going to have more oomph is if we heat it. There's one other way if they get bigger, but we're not dealing with that in this chapter. If you're cooling it, they're going to have less oomph. If you're heating it, they're going to have more oomph, right? So right away, now you've got all these done. So easy. The mass, did it say anything about adding particles? So what has to go here? It's constant. It's constant. Okay. Collisions per second per area. Think of it this way. If you have a bunch of kids that are just waking up, and walking around your classroom, or a bunch of kids that just ate tons of sugar in your classroom, where is there going to be more collisions per second per area? Sugar. Just sugar. So the heating or making it faster, what is that going to do to the collision? Increase. Increase. Now you look. Do these three make sense? Does that make sense? That if that increase, that increase, that would increase. Then you know, okay, I've got that. Okay? So, one of collisions per second per area be directly related to the temperature? Not necessarily, because if you change the volume, if it's a movable container, 
then it's going to be different. Temperature, okay. temperature and volume are the most two important ones because if you have temperature, all these other ones are going to increase. If you have volume with temperature, but you're increasing it at the same time, you've got that extra space, just like the balloon. The balloon is expanding. Good explanation. Okay. All right, so let's look at the second one then. <coughs> now remember, these ones are very important. I'm telling you, they're on the exam. Question number four, you have two choices. You can do the first question number four, or you can do the second question number four, which is exactly these. Okay? So if you want to do the first question number four, you can do that, or you can do exactly these if you feel like you understand these. Okay, so you have two choices on the exam on question four. Okay? All right, now look at S2. Who wants to who wants to come up here for S2? So we have the same things. We got temperature, mass, volume, kinetic energy, speed, number of particles. Was it even a little bit easier doing it that time than when you did it for the homework? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, who wants to come up and... Ooh. All right, come on up. I'll do it. I just have my book on me, so you guys tell me what we can do. Okay. So who will read it? <coughs> Okay, go ahead. Fill in the macro micro table to show that if the pressure and total number of particles remain constant, and if the temperature increases, then the volume must also increase. And then it was pressure and what else remains constant? Number of particles. So temperature is going up, kinetic energy has to go up. The number of particles is constant, so the mass has to be constant. Those two are related, right? Mm -hmm. They're always going to be the same. What are right? mass and Good. And from what I remembered, I made myself like a diagram from the last few homeworks ago. We were just dealing with like the CSA and the oomph. Um, that oomph can't increase unless speed increases, and speed only increases with heat, which I'm pretty sure is right, right? Yep. So, mm -hmm. yep. so if the temperature is rising, then that means that oomph, the speed and the oomph have to. And then you plug it into that pressure model that you have. Mm -hmm. So it's the pressure. So if the, if the oomph is increasing and the pressure is increasing, the pressure is the same. Pressure is the same. The same. Mm -hmm. this is Here's the pressure. pressure. So then this has to be constant. No, no. That, that has to be the balance. It has to be decreasing. So only one person in the class got that one. I was gonna say that was the <laughs> hardest one. I got that wrong for sure. Okay. That's the one I got wrong. Negative right one plus Here. one Here. zero. Okay, so when they're opposite, so it's the balloon. Okay, negative one plus one zero. Does that make sense? How do you figure that out? Based on the mass? No, no, no. Because the pressure is constant, uh -huh. we already know the oomph increases because the um, temperature is increasing. Right. And because the number of collisions in the ah, oomph have to balance out the pressure. The same mm -hmm. number so of you're increasing the one. And yes. decreasing this is other. constant. So that one has to go down. Go down. Gotcha. Okay. So those okay. last three are sort of a Now, I want you to just, try number three I all like by circling. yourself. Yeah, that's what <laughs> all I do. By yourself. It helps. Try number three all by yourself. Okay. You don't have your book. The <laughs> if the um, volume and temperature remain constant, okay. Total number of particles increases. Okay. Pressure must also increase. Okay. Volume and temperature constant. Particles increases, pressure must increase. Volume and temperature constant. Temperature constant means what else is constant? Automatically. Kinetic energy, speed, and oomph. Kinetic energy, speed, and oomph. Automatically going to be constant. 
Number of particles increases. What else is going to increase because the particles you put more particles in? Mass. Mass. The pressure must also increase. Okay. So what do you have for temp? Constant. Constant, Constant. mass. Increase. Volume. Constant. Constant. Kinetic energy. Constant. Constant. Speed. Constant. Constant. Particles. Increase. Increase. Collisions. Increase. 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 Pressure. Increase. Does constant. the increase, constant, increase make sense at the end? Do those last three, if you were using an equation of plus one, zero, minus one, does that make sense? You have a plus one and a zero and a plus one. So it's so if, the, more if the number of particles increases, the number of collisions per area per second also increase? If the volume stays the same. Okay, as long as the if the volume stays the same. Because you're putting 40 kids into the room instead of just 20 kids into the room. So will you stop that once in a while, Chelsea? Because YouTube will only take Do I push the red, the red button?